Okay, so yeah, they they got a makeover. It's supposed to be really nice. Like I know the manager here and he has like really struggled with having a crappy store and it is none of it was ever his fault, but it's just like the nature of, you know, Dollar General. Some of the stores are not as popping as other stores, but they got the makeover and I'm really excited for him. I'm excited to go inside and see. So yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going in now to see, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is like a completely different store. Oh my gosh. So excited. I'm about to have some fun, y'all. And I'm, oh my goodness, it is fully stocked. Fully stocked. Oh my gosh. Hey Phil, congratulations on the store. <laughs> it's nice being completely 100% correct. This is amazing. It looks so good. Yeah, everything's up to date. All the planograms are up to date. Uh, all the uh, discontinued items are gone. It's nice. It is really nice. Congratulations, yeah. you deserve a store this nice. Okay, so the first item I'm gonna get is gonna be the Tombstone Pizza. Now the Tombstone Pizza is on sale two for $6. That's just a regular sale. Everybody can do that deal. It's two for $6. So we would be buying two and paying $6. However, it gets better. We have a digital coupon for buy two and get one free. So if we were gonna buy two anyway, the digital coupon is now giving us another one for free. So now we'd be paying $6 for three pizzas. And if you look at the original price, they were regularly $4.75. So to be getting three of them for $6, that's like paying $2 per pizza. I'm definitely gonna do this deal. At $2 per pizza, you really can't beat that. Okay, so the very next item we're gonna be adding to our transaction is gonna be the Jell-O No Bake Classic Cheesecake. I'm gonna get the blue box because this week it's on sale for $2. Buy one, get one free. Okay, so you would buy one box for $2 and the second box will be absolutely free. But it gets even better. There is a Dollar General digital coupon that will save you an additional $2 when you buy four boxes, okay? So try to get four of the boxes, the blue boxes, and clip that digital coupon to save $2. Okay, so here's what my card is looking like so far. I have three of the Tombstone pizzas and I have four of the Jell-O cheesecakes. Now, all information for getting these coupons will be in the description box below, and it's free to get these coupons, so don't worry. This is absolutely free to clip the coupons, okay? You would just need to download the Dollar General app or go to Dollar General Dot com. Very simple and very easy. You don't need any paper coupons to do this deal. All you're going to be doing is putting in your phone number when you get to the register. That's all it is. It takes out all of the anxiety. All you're going to need to do is put in your phone number when you get to the register. The next item we're going to add to our transaction is going to be some chips because we're trying to have a fun meal family night we've got pizza we've already even skipped to dessert but what do we want to put with that pizza we're going to get some nacho cheese chips okay so the tortilla chips are one dollar every day at dollar general that's one of their one dollar deals okay so that's already a great price this is a full-size bag but even better dollar general is offering on the app or at dollargeneral.com in that digital coupon section they are offering a coupon for 25 cents off so if it's not great that they're already just $1, they're now offering you an extra 25 cents off on the tortilla chips. And there's another offer for 25 cents off the corn chips. So I'm gonna get one of each because when you're having a party or you're having a little get together for the holidays, you never know which flavor people will like. So I'm just gonna get one of each. Now, if we take a look at my cart, I have four of the Jell-O cheesecakes, three of the tombstone pizzas, and two bags of chips. It looks like it's getting pretty full, right? Not just yet. We definitely need some more treats to go with this meal. So let's go see what else we can add. Last but not least, guys, I thought about it long and hard about different things I could add, but it only seemed practical to add a drink. So I'm looking 
And Dollar General has tons of drinks priced at only a dollar. There's tons of varieties to choose from, different brands, different manufacturers. So you could definitely make that choice. So for our last item, let's go ahead and add a one dollar two liter to our transaction. And now we're ready to check out. Okay guys, so to do this transaction, you're only gonna need four coupons, just four. So relax, no anxiety, no pressure. You're gonna need to clip your buy two, get one free tombstone pizza coupon, okay? Buy two, get one free tombstone pizza. You're gonna need to clip your 25 cents off tortilla chips, Clover Valley tortilla chips. You're going to also need to clip 25 cents off Clover Valley corn chips, okay? Last but not least, you're going to need to clip your $2 off when you spend $6 on Kraft baking product. And that one will apply to our Jello, our Jello cheesecakes, okay? So there's only four coupons. You can do this. It's easy to do, it's free. All you have to do is go to dollargeneral.com, clip the four coupons that I just mentioned, go to the checkout, put in your phone number, and walk out like a boss. OCC gang, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to check out now and it's pretty easy. We have everything in our cart. Take me to the store with you. If you need that confidence boost, put me in your purse, put me in your pocket and just whip me out when you need me. I'll be there for you. You can do this. I'll be your coupon BFF. We can do this together. It's not hard. It's super easy. Just go to check out, have your confidence. I know it can be intimidating. You can do it though. After that first time of just giving it a try, I mean, you'll feel so much more relieved that you're taking control of your finances and that you can feed your family for little to nothing and that you can just be a better person all around knowing that you're not wasting your money and that you're stretching it as far as you can. So I'm ready to check out. I'm gonna go start putting my stuff right here. Oh, I didn't mean to throw the chips, guys. I'm gonna start putting my stuff up and getting ready to check out. Okay, so the checkout process can be a little unnerving, especially when you're nervous and it's your first time doing it. So it's okay to make small talk with your cashier if they're up to it. I mean, and it's also polite, so you can ask someone how are they doing, or if they ask you how you're doing. It's so easy to tell them how your day is going, and it's even easier to say, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm just trying out digital coupons for the first time, so I'm kind of nervous, and that will, kind of let your cashier know how to handle you um, they'll see that you're nervous that you're not be trying to be mean you just don't really know what you're doing and they will work with you a little bit more so that's something to try instead of being offended or taking offense every time you know you go to check out that's it what's my total before digitals 16 and 7 okay guys so my total is 16 dollars plus tax I'm gonna go ahead and put in my phone number Okay guys, so all my discounts have come off and after all of my digitals, my total for everything is $10.50 plus tax. Okay, so if we take the time to look at the receipt, my total is $10.50 plus tax. Seven cents Florida tax, your tax may be different. Okay, but I got the four yellow cheesecakes, the chips, two bags of chips, one drink that was priced at a dollar and three pizzas for only 10.50 that's like an entire meal that can actually last you until like for a few days so this is like three days worth of meals for 10.50 maybe more depending on your family size but i think we did really great if you're having a party having a budget of ten dollars this seems like a great idea okay so funny story story time i was on my way to chili's because i ordered myself a salad for lunch Okay, so I was on my way to Chili's, but as soon as I was, I found out there's a McDonald's glitch. There's a McDonald's glitch going on. So, I'm going to go get my salad, but for you guys, I'm going to show you the McDonald's glitch. Okay, I'm not going to eat it, but I am going to do it big just for y'all. This is crazy. So, if you want to eat for free, like, oh my gosh, keep watching. Just got to Chili's. I'm going to go inside and pick up my to-go order and then after that we'll just all go to mcdonald's i'm just waiting over by the to-go nobody has shown up yet but i'm just waiting so it's just us what's up okay so while we're waiting on the chilies the first thing you need to do if you want to get in on this mcdonald's glitch with me is you need to download the mcdonald's app so while we're waiting right now 
go ahead and download the McDonald's app. That's the first thing you want to do. You're going to need to download the app. This is going to blow your mind. I'm just hoping it really works though. Just got my food and I'm leaving. Okay, so now let's talk about this McDonald's glitch. Okay, so if you want to do the McDonald's glitch, the first thing you need to do is download the McDonald's app. That's very important. That's the only way you can do it. Now, when you get to the app, you'll see all of these categories and selections. I'm just going to click filter. You see that in the top right corner, filter. I'm going to filter items $3 or less. I'm going to click close and then it will show me what items are $3 or less. Now we are looking for items that will ring up super, super cheap. So now it's sorting the items and I see immediately that a basket of fries is $0. Do you see that glitch? It's not supposed to be $0. Of course, fries are not free. So I'm just going to put five into my cart because I'm excessive like that. And then I'm going to go back to the main menu. It says item added to your bag. You see that at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to try and sort again, if I can get that yellow strip out of the way. Um, actually, you know, also you can't get a $0 order. It has to have something that costs something. So add a cookie for like 59 cents. There are things that are cheaper than 59 cents, but at your store, the fries may not be the free item. Some stores, a burger is the free item. I'm just going to keep sorting until I see more items that are priced at zero. And because you can't just buy something for zero dollars, add a drink or add something that costs anything. Okay. So I usually like to add a yogurt cup or yogurt, a gogurt squeeze because kids like that. And when I pick up my niece from school, I can just hand her the gogurt squeeze. Um, so that's a good one to add, but I'm scrolling and I'm not seeing anything else but condiments for, um, free, but check your store because people have been reporting that their hamburgers are free. Well, my hamburgers aren't free. And I asked them, are their fries free? And they're like, no. And here's the kicker. It varies by store location. So if I switch store locations, the McDonald's down the street may have something else on their menu for free. So if you strike out at one location, just go in the top and switch your location and switch to another location. I'm still scrolling. Oh, boom. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Zero. I'll add five of those. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So we're back. And now I'm thinking I'll just add a yogurt to call it a day because I don't want to just keep adding food that I'm not going to eat. So I'm just going to add something really, really cheap. And um, I'm thinking, yeah, yogurts are like 50 cents. So I'll do that. But this is how the glitch is going to work. And then I'll go to checkout. And like I said, your total can't be flat out zero. So definitely add something that's not completely free. I'm still looking for stuff. I keep saying I'm done, but then I keep looking at other things to see if I can find anything else free. So here's a yogurt. It's only 50 cents. That will allow me to check out for cheap. Okay. Because you can't check out with zero. I'm going to my cart. Okay. I have five baskets of fries, five oatmeal raisin cookies, and one strawberry yogurt. You can see my subtotal is 50 cents. I'm going to choose payment. My total is 54 cents. Okay, so it basically says that they've got my order. It tells me where to head to to go pick it up. So I'm going to go do what they said and see if this works. So I'm riding to McDonald's right now and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous because I am because this is like this is like legit free food, but this is a glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. I mean, because I don't think that the items would be priced that way, but that's what it's listed as on the website. So it's not like I'm cheating the system like I put in some code to make it that way. It's like they're actually just showing that as the price. So it's not one of those things where I feel like super guilty because it's like that's what they have the price listed as zero. So maybe it's a promotion, but I'm, I'm calling glitch on this one because that is like really too good to be true. But as long as they're offering it, I'm not going to leave it there. They're offering. Why not? So I literally just got to McDonald's. I just pulled up. I'm going inside because I think that's what you have to do. I don't really eat McDonald's, so I don't know what their pickup process is like, but I guess I'm about to find out. So I'm looking for a parking space. And I'll go inside and either make a fool of myself or get the food. Oh, three, 
the worst they can do is say no. I mean, like, really, the worst, the worst that can happen is they're like, oh, there was an error with your order, and then I have to be like, really? Oh, I'll just cancel it then. I thought it was a promotion or something. I mean, like, really. So sometimes you just have to, like, put your big girl or big boy outfit on and just do it. Okay, guys, so story time. I just made a complete fool of myself. Not really, but yeah. Okay, so basically I came inside of McDonald's. I thought that I pick up inside when in all actuality, you pick up outside at the curbside parking that I actually parked in. So don't make the same mistake that I made if you're not used to ordering. Um, when you order, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just still laughing at myself. When you order, you park into one of the curbside spots and then you type in on the app what number you're parked in you guys probably already know that but i don't know i don't eat at mcdonald's so i'm parked in space number three so on the app i need to type space number three so that they'll actually bring me out the food so huh, let's start over you do not have to get out of your car you do however need to put in the parking space number that you're parked into if you want them to bring your food out i hope that makes sense okay so i'm back in the car and apparently so this is like the place where i'm parked and apparently this is what i was supposed to enter so you'll know you're done when you see the screen that asks you where you parked and then they'll process your payment so i got happy ahead of time a little bit too early they had not quite processed my payment so yeah i was i think when i hear glitch i just get super excited so I'm back in the car. I don't feel so bad anymore because um, the guy inside, we had a good laugh about it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we had a good laugh about it. And he said um, that it was normal for people to place a mobile order and not be exactly sure how that works. So, yeah, I was one of those people. Yeah. Oh, help me, Lord. Oh, Lord, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, ooh, where's my Bible? Oh, Lord, I took my Bible out of my car. I need my Bible right now. Oh, gosh, I almost stopped breathing, y'all. Okay, what happened was the manager came out to my car, and I was like, oh, gosh, why, Lord, why? But and so I rolled down my window, and I'm like, yes. And then he's like, ma'am. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> ooh. And he was like, about your order. And I'm like, yes. And he was like, um, what's a one basket fry? And I was like, huh? And he was like, you ordered one basket fry, five orders of a one basket fry. And I was like, I don't know, it was on the app. So I ordered it and he was like, I don't know what a one basket fry is. And I'm like, oh, me neither. Um, I thought it was something new. I thought it was a promotion. <laughs> and he was like, well, I don't know what a one basket fry is. So I'll just make you five medium fries. And I was like, sure. <laughs> But yeah, that's the status so far. But I almost like jumped out my soul. You know what I'm saying? Like my soul almost jumped out my body. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought he was coming to be like, ma'am, no, no. But he didn't do that. He was just like, ma'am, I don't know what a one basket fry is. So I don't know if the app really is glitching and they put some bogus type of fry up there. I don't know. But psh, let's, let's see what happens after this. <laughs> I still haven't got the food yet, so I'm still on edge. I'm still on edge. <laughs> Y'all, guess what? It came. The food came. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going crazy right now. Oh, thank you, Lord. I did not think. I mean, I did think, but I'm skeptical because what? I haven't had McDonald's fries in, like, years. Like, I swore it off years ago, but to celebrate... Mm -hmm. Ooh, they are kind of cold <laughs> but I'll eat another one mm. I just got a notification on my phone that says your McDonald's order has been successfully picked up I know this is look y'all full of fries nobody said anything to me I got my 50 cent gogurt oh my goodness y'all gotta see all of this Okay, so the fries bag is parked. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Fries, fries, fries. I guess this is the cookies up in here. Yeah, that must be the cookies. And then the Gogurt, of course. Y'all, please excuse my car. I've been getting deals all day. I got stuff everywhere. But wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, follow those instructions and get your deal.